I want you to promise me no more climbing. I promise. Do you know what? What? You always look at your feet before you lie. <laughs> Run and find your father. Tell him the king is close. In my dreams, I kill him every night. It's done, Your Grace. Targaryens are gone. Not all of them. <laughs> Cat! Your Grace. Nine years. Why haven't I seen you? Where the hell have you been? Guarding the north for you, your grace. Winterfell is yours. Winterfell is yours, your grace. Where's the email? Would you shut up? Have we here? It must be Rob. The Lannisters send their regards. Aye, you're a pretty one. They take this man. Leave her face. I like her pretty. Your sister. Pretty sister, I should have taken her. That night the black water burned. I should have fucked her bloody. At least I'd have one happy memory. Your name is? Arya. What's your name? Mercy. Do you like pretending to be other people? Harry! Hello, Hot Pie. A girl is Arya Stark of Winterfell. Ooh. Shows your muscles. You'll be a soldier. I'm not a cripple. I became the Three-Eyed Raven. Now the Bran's awake, will you come live with us? Well, he needs to get his strength back first. He wants to be Knight of the King's Guard. He can't be one now, can he? No. But someday, he could be Lord of a Hold Fast. He'll sit on the King's Council. Or he might raise castles. Like Brandon the Builder. That's Jamie Lannister, the Queen's twin brother. Would you please shut up? Tell me you're not thinking of taking the black. And go celibate? The whores would go begging from dawn to Casterly Rock. Well, even if the boy lives, he'd be a cripple, a grotesque. Give me a good, clean death any day. It's true, isn't it? What Maester Lewin says about my legs. rather be dead. Don't ever say that. I'd rather be dead. Never forget that. Still don't remember anything? Yeah, this should help you remember. If you hadn't pushed me out of that window, and I would still be Brandon Stark. You're not? No. I'm something else now. 
You can't kill it, you know. Why not? Because the raven is you. Why didn't you tell them? You won't be able to help us in this fight if I let them murder you first. What about afterwards? How do you know there is an afterwards? Hold on. Hold on. Help Rand down the hall. Hold on. Hold on. So be it. We have another wolf. As you will. Can't mean it. Dying wolf's no pet. Get her a dog, she'll be happier for it. He doesn't mean lady, does he? No, no, not lady. Lady didn't bite anyone. She's good! Truth is, you're lucky. You don't want to be alone out here, girl. Someone worse than me would find you. There's no one worse than you. Huh. There's plenty worse than me. There's men who like to beat little girls. Men who like to rape them. Saved your sister from some of them. Yes? Come to escort you to the godswood, my lady. If you please, my lady, will you take my arm? No. I'm not touching you. Please. The first time I saw Winterfell. The first time I saw Winterfell. Looked like something that had been here for thousands of years. And would be here for thousands of years after I was dead. They burned everything. Not everything. I saw it and I thought... Not you. Of course, Ned Stark crushed our rebellion and killed my brothers. We never stood a chance against the man who lives here. Lord Stark went out of his way to make it your home. Yes, my captors were so very kind to me. You love reminding me of that. Everyone in this frozen pile of shit has always loved reminding me of that. You know what it's like to be told how lucky you are to be someone's prisoner? To be told how much you owe them? And then to go back home to your real father? I will kill that man! I swear to the drowned god, the old gods, the new gods, to every fucking god in every fucking heaven, I will kill that man! Theon, listen to me. You hear that? That's the mating call of the Northmen. They want to fuck us. Well, I haven't had a good fucking week. I'm ready for one. <laughs> Say every ironborn man is worth a dozen from and the mainland. Every man. man from Bear Island fights with the strength of ten men. You think they're right? Aye. Aye. We die today, brothers. We die bleeding from a hundred wounds with arrows in our necks and spears in our guts. But our war cries will echo through eternity. 
They will sing about the Battle of Winterfell until the Iron Islands have slipped beneath the waves. Every man, woman and child will know who we were and how long we stood. Agar and Gelmar, Wex and Urzain, Stig and Black Lauren. Ironborn warriors will cry out our names as they leap onto the shores of Seaguard and Faircastle. Aye. Mothers will name their sons for us. Aye. Girls will think of us with their lovers inside them. Aye. And whoever kills that fucking hole blower will stand in front above the shores of Pike. Aye. What is dead may never die. What is dead? Will disappear. Your name will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. I just want you to know. I wish the things I did. Everything you did brought you where you are now. Where you belong. Home. My boy would be honored to bring you Prince Theon's head. Tell your son Bran and Rickon's safety is paramount. And Theon, I want him brought to me alive. My bastard is only a few days from Winterfell. Once he captures the castle... Theon has my brothers if we storm the castle. He wouldn't dare hurt the boys. Murdered those boys. The staff boys. And we found them. Just some poor orphans living with the farmer. I let Dagmar slit their throats. And I let him burn the bodies. So I could keep Winterfell. And make my father proud. Maybe it's not too late. It is. My real father lost his head at King's Landing. I made a choice. Shows wrong. And now I've burned everything down. Not everything, my lord. They burned everything. Not everything. Not you. Theon. You're a good man. 
Thank you. Last time we saw each other was at Winterfell, yes? Your master doesn't seem to like Lannisters. He's not my master. No, of course not. What happened here? Where is Lady Stark? Why didn't she receive me? Lady Stark? What an unexpected pleasure. I was sorry to miss you at Winterfell. She wasn't feeling well. She's not in Winterfell, is she? Where did she go? The lady's whereabouts. The lady. <laughs> Your loyalty to your captors is touching. Tell me, how do you think Balin Greyjoy would feel if he could see his only surviving son has turned lackey? I still remember seeing my father's fleet burn in Lannisport. I believe your uncles were responsible. Must have been a pretty sight. Nothing prettier than watching sailors burn alive. Yes, great victory for your people. Shame how it all turned out. We were outnumbered ten to one. A stupid rebellion, then. I suppose your father realized that when your brothers died in battle. Now here you are, your enemy's squire. Careful, imp. You were making jokes about my height, I seem to recall. I've offended you. Forgive me. It's been a rough morning. Anyway, don't despair. I'm a constant disappointment to my own father, and I've learned to live with it. Your next tumble with Roz is on me. I'll try not to wear her out. Came very close once. I was alone in a room with a naked girl. Didn't know where to put it. I know where to put it. Was she old and ugly? Young and gorgeous. A whore named Roz. I hate bad investments. Really, I. Too. They haunt me. I had no idea how to make her happy. No idea how to mitigate my losses. A very wealthy patron, he offered me a tremendous amount of money to let him transform this lovely, sad girl. To use her in ways never occurred to most men. And you know what occurs to most men? I would not say he succeeded in making her happy. But my losses were definitely mitigated. Jorah the Andal. This man must sail past old Valeria. All who travel too close to the doom must have protection. I didn't come here for lesson. I know where we are. You're taking us through Valeria. I am. No, you came for the dragons. You have them. Where are they? Scale would go slow. Let you grow just enough to know the world before taking it away from you. Everyone advised me to send you to the ruins of Valyria to live out your short life with the stone men before the sickness spread through the castle. I told them all to go to hell. I called in every maester on this side of the world, every healer, every apothecary. They stopped the disease and saved your life. Because you did not belong across the world with a bloody stone man. 
You are the Princess Serene of House Baratheon. And you are my daughter. Come in. Are you sleeping, Princess? Did you watch the ceremony on the beach? I heard it. And it frightened you? Sir Axel was my uncle. He was always kind to me. They're in a better place now, Princess. The fire cleansed them of the sins of the world. But they screamed. Betray your family. You will betray everything you once had done. Women scream when they give birth. Afterward, they are filled with joy. Afterward, they aren't ash and bone. You have so many questions, don't you? So did I when I was a child. I was much like you. Only I wasn't a princess. And you didn't have this? No. What do you call it in this house? What happened to your face? Grayscale. What do you call it north of the wall? I don't know. But two of my sisters had it. They both died. I still remember how you smiled when I put that doll in your cradle. How you pressed it to your cheek. By the time we burnt the doll, it was too late. I was told you would die. How did they kill you? I don't remember. I was a baby. A lot of people came and tried, I think. Whatever they did, it went away. What happened to your sisters? My father made them move out of the keep into the hut outside. None of us were allowed to go near them, but we heard them, especially at night. They started to sound not like themselves. Did you ever see them? Only once at the end. They were covered with it. Their faces, their arms. They acted like animals. My father had to drag them out to the woods on a rope. What did he do with them in the woods? Mother. The Marjorie Tyrell who walks into the scepter fortnight from now will inspire a thousand songs. How sad it will be if she's wearing rubbish like that. Perhaps I should just let Joffrey choose it for me. End up with a string of dead sparrow heads around my neck. You have nothing to fear, Your Grace. The trial will begin shortly. Cersei is not here. Tommen is not here. Why do you think they are not here? If the accused is not here, she will be tried regardless. We cannot escape the justice of the gods. Forget about the bloody gods and listen to what I'm telling you. Cersei understands the consequences of her absence, and she is absent anyway, which means she does not intend to suffer those consequences. The trial can wait. We all need to leave. Lancel Lannister. Who named you? Some half-wit with a stutter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny, is it? No, Your Grace. No? 
You don't like the hand's joke? You heard the hand. The king's too fat for his armour. Go find the breastplate stretcher. Now! <sighs> what are you doing? It's empty, Your Grace. What do you mean it's empty? There's no more wine. Is that what empty means? So get more. Get the others. It'll be for you. Here. If you ever call me sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. And now the rains weep o'er our halls. The rest of your family have abandoned you. The people despise you. You're surrounded by enemies, thousands of them. You're going to kill them all by yourself? You have children. How happy would you say you are? Not very. But if it weren't for my children, I'd have thrown myself from the highest window in the Red Keep. The faith and the crown are the two pillars that hold up this world. One collapses. One collapses, so does, so the, does other. the other. It's time to go, Your Grace. A bit longer. Riders! The horn! We have to blow the horn! Why is he alone? Ranger returning, two for wildlings, three There's no rider. And though Daenerys maintains her grip on Slaver's Bay, forces rise against her from within and without. 
she refuses to leave until the freedom of the former slaves is secure. She sounds like quite a woman. And she's alone, under siege, no family to guide her or protect her. A last relation, thousands of miles away, useless, dying. Don't say that, Mr. Raymond. It's a Garion, alone in the world. It's a terrible thing. Mr. Raymond, kill the boy, John Snow. Try not to worry, Ollie. I've been worrying about John for years. He always comes back. Winter is almost upon us. Kill the boy. <coughs> and let the man be born. Beautiful beneath the sea. But if you stay too long, you'll drown. It's always summer under the sea. I know, I know. Oh, oh, oh. The birds have scales and the fish take wing. I know, I know. Oh, Mm-hmm. <laughs>